So in this lecture, we will see the program status word or the flat register. It is known as the PSW program status word. Okay. So what is the exactly program status word register or, or flag register? So it is a register. Of course, uh, in 805, it is an 8-bit microcontroller. So it is an 8-bit register. So 0 to 7 means 8-bit registers, right? Or the, it is an 8-bit register. Uh, position of this register in architecture, we have seen that uh, this is the ALU. Here is the accumulator, <coughs> temporary one, temporary two registers are here, okay, and PSW. So what is the function of PSW? Uh, yesterday we have seen that the accumulator, accumulator is the main register or where the one of the operand in the addition, multiplication, division, subtraction, one of the operand must be Total in the accumulator. accumulator. And the final result of the process are the uh, addition, subtraction, whatever the logical operation is there. Okay, it is the result is stored in the accumulator. Okay, so this is the accumulator, uh, and uh, here is the PSW. PSW means program status word. So program status word means whatever the execution is done, means addition, multiplication, and uh, the result is available in the accumulator. Okay, so according to the result in the accumulator, the PSW or the program status word changes its bits, okay, means it shows the status of program, it shows the status of the program or the result, right. So there are, the, the address of this register is D0, address is D0, okay, and of course 8 bits, those are the free for variety bit. Next, uh, PSW1 is reserved or not in use. PSW.3 it is an overflow. Right? Uh, PSW.3 and PSW.4. So that is, uh, we can write here T and 0. That is RS0 and RS1. It is register select. Register, select bit 0 and bit 1. Right. Next, PSW.5, F0 for future use. PSW.6, it is auxiliary carry. AC means auxiliary carry. PSW.7, it is carry. 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 Okay, so these are the bits in the program status word. These are the bits in the program status word. Okay, so PSW. So this is the accumulator and this is the program status word. Right. Uh, so now we will see the different uh, function of the different bits. Right. It is a, also bit addressable. Bit addressable. So you can handle or, or you can check a single bit. Okay, not compulsory. Uh, you have to deal with the whole word or the whole register, right? So one by one, we will see the function of each bit. The priority bit or the PSW dot zero or the D zero or the zero number bit. Okay, so it is PSW dot zero or the priority bit. Uh, the function of the priority bit to show the no or it changes the status of the priority bit or the this bit according to the number of ones in the accumulator. Okay, if now suppose the accumulator contains this number 1 0 double 1 0 double 1 0. Okay, so there are total number of 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 numbers are there or the 5 1 are there. Okay, so number of 1 there 5. 5 means odd. odd. It is odd. So that means it becomes 1. So priority becomes 1 or the priority bit will be the 1. Okay, if it is a num or now in this case the total number of 1 4. 4, four is a even. So for E1, the priority will be 0, okay. So remember a simple thing, uh, the priority bits reflects the status of accumulator register. If accumulator contains the number of 1, okay, total number of 1, if it is odd number, this total 5, 1 are there, okay, then it is, if it is odd, then the priority will be 1. 
and if it is e1 the total number of one if the number is total e1 okay then it uh, shows the zero or reflects the zero this is the function of variety bit okay so for example now let us see uh, what will the result for this okay how many one are there one two six. three four six. five six so e six e six is a e1 e1 e e means e zero okay now seven, seven one are there seven means or or means one one means the variety bit changes its position or the changes its uh, reflection according to the number of one in a accumulator or the result of in the accumulator okay so this is the function of variety bit right next psw.1 it is not useful or the it is not used next is the overflow plug means it is for the e1 even number of one it is zero and odd number of one it is one. it is not used to psw psw it is a overflow okay so in many uh, arithmetic operations arithmetic operation when the accumulator is or the result is very large result is very large for example in multiplication result is large so it cannot be stored in the 8 bit accumulator okay so 8 bit accumulator the result if the result is cannot be stored in the 8 bit accumulator that means accumulator is overflowed right so at that time the this bit will get set or it becomes one okay remember overflow flag ob Okay. When the result in the accumulator is very large and it cannot be accumulated in the 8 bit register that is accumulator. Okay, and the result is more than uh, means 9 bit, 10 bit. Okay, for example, in multiplication, that means the uh, it is an overflow, right? So it shows one. So that means if the overflow flag is one, that means the result, whatever we are opened up uh, in a certain process, immediately what is like the the result is more than 8 bit. Okay. So it cannot be accumulated in the accumulator and that's why overflow will become 1, right? Next, RS0 and RS1. RS0 and RS1. Okay. RS0 and RS1. RS means register select. Or the register bank select. In 8051 RAM, okay, it has four register banks. It has four register banks. Those are RB0, RB1, RB2, RB3. Okay, there are four register banks in the RAM of 8051 okay to deal with a certain register bank uh, just like a, when we want a, a four wheeler or two wheeler at a certain gear level we change and go to the for the second level gear or the uh, fourth level or the fifth or in the reverse gear okay just we want to whichever gear we want to select in the same way uh, in the pressuring or the upcoming uh, uh, programming whatever we register want we have to select the uh, register bank or uh, for the programming uh, by using these two bits in the PSW, okay, these are based on bit addressable means if you put both uh, zero zero in both the bits RS zero and RS one, that will be the bank selected. That will be the RB zero. If it is a zero one, RB one. It is a one zero, RB two. It is a one one, RB three. Okay, so. By putting these values or the by set or uh, resetting these bits RS0 and RS1, we can select the bank RB0, RB1, RB2, and RB3 according to our requirement or our um, judgment. Right? So these are the RS0 and RS1. There are four register banks in the RAM of 8051. Okay. And to select those register banks, okay. Uh, just like uh, just like uh, gear in the uh, for the two wheeler or four wheeler the same way we have to select first the uh, register bank to deal with the registers okay 
and uh, by default if you don't select it okay so their value will be the zero zero means automatically the register bank zero will be selected okay by default the value is here zero zero so that means if you are dealing without choosing the uh, register bank okay so you are directly programming or directly using register bank so by default uh, there is a zero zero and uh, you are dealing with the register bank zero most of the times okay and if you want to change then you can change the bits and you can select the bank whatever you require okay so this is the rs0 and rs1 next for the general purpose uh, if a programmer wants to use it uh, uh, the person can use it individually so it has not a, any uh, specific purpose okay next auxiliary carry auxiliary carry so auxiliary carry means if there is an addition of two bits okay or the two uh, numbers suppose the number is the first number number a and number b 1000100 okay and number b is 00001000 okay so this is low this is known as the lower number and this is known as the upper number okay. so or the this is the d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 okay so the result or the answer will be the 0 0 0 1 plus 1 0, zero. here carry goes from this hmm? and 0 sorry one, this is 1 this is 0 0 1 okay so whenever there is carry from d3 to d4 d3 to d4 that carry is known as the auxiliary carry this carry is known as the auxiliary carry and whenever in a certain operation or whenever there is an addition of whatever there uh, when the carry is from d3 to d4 d3 to d4 then the auxiliary carry bit will become pressed or uh, it becomes set okay so it becomes one auxiliary carry and if there is a no any such type of carry okay so this is the zero sorry this is one and this is zero means there is a no carry from d3 to d4 means now at this case it will show zero okay so auxiliary carry auxiliary carry means uh, whenever there is addition and uh, in the addition uh, there is a uh, carry from d3 to d4 that is from lower nipple to upper nipple right so this is known as the auxiliary carry right and finally the last bit is the carry carry means whenever there is a Suppose this is addition and 1 plus 1, 0 and there is the carry and it shows that this is the carry means uh, uh, ninth number bit is there, okay. So this is integrated by the carry or the, the result of the carry, it is stored in the carry bit, okay. If it is a, means now it is a carry is there, it is 1 or if there is a no carry means like in this condition, so the ninth bit is 0, so it will be the 0, okay. So this is the program status word what is the program status it status is use the status okay of the program right whatever the executing in the 8051 okay so what are the, the bits uh, first bit is the uh, the address of this register is the d0 okay first bit is the or it is generally uh, noted as psw.0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 psw.1 psw.3 okay and first bit is the parity bit when uh, what is the function of parity bit uh, whenever the result in the accumulator is contains even number of 1, even number of one. 1, then it is a 0. zero. If it is an odd number, then zero. it is 1. This is not specifically used for uh, any purpose. Zero. You Okay, next, PSW.2, overflow. When the result is very large, okay, and it cannot be accumulated in the accumulator, then it shows the uh, overflow flag, or the overflow flag becomes 1, otherwise it is 0. This is PSW.3 and PSW.4 that is register select 0, register select 1. So it is actually register bank select. Okay. So there are four register, register banks in the 805 microcontroller, in the RAM of the 805 microcontroller. And uh, according to that, you will select the register banks. Means for the 00, it is RB0, 01, RB1, 10, 
R V two and one one R V. Next F zero, F zero you can use individually for the not just there is no any specific kind of function. Okay. Uh, user defined is that. Next A C or the auxiliary carry. Auxiliary carry means there is a carry from lower nipple to upper nipple. Okay. And uh, this is the P S W dot seven carry means whenever there is uh, addition and uh, there is a carry from the D seven. It is stored in this. Okay. Thank you.